We have so much impact with our photography. A photo can change the world. For me, it's a legacy. My name is Freydis Jaitis and I'm from the fjords of Norway, a little village in the western part. And I'm addicted to nature and to photography. And my passion is the nature and the dark Nordic nature around me. People would call my style the Nordic Noir because I come from the Nordic countries and it's cold and it's dark. And I can see that. I can see that when I look at my Instagram feed, it looks like super dark, but it's really not. I'm obsessed with light. But in order to get the light where I want it, I need the dark. The darkness will show the light. To be on this trip with the other creators is such an amazing thing because we have so different perspectives on photography. Meeting the other creators, for me, it's like being with family because we know each other, but we don't know each other. Because we come from the same place, being a professional photographer. <laughs> <laughs> they have been lifting me, like really, from a, like a different perspective. So I, for me, it's been a blessing to have them with me here. How are you feeling? Thank I'm you. feeling great. I, this is what I'm looking forward to. This is what I do. Yeah. I mean, this is the East Park mm. shooting. Mm. So I'm really looking forward to today. Have it, has it been good for you to kind of like see what other people have come back with? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is this is not like yeah, this is not what I do every day. Like mm. getting filmed and, and being like yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been a great ride up till now. Mm. Like being with the other creators, I've learned so much already. Mm. So I will take it with me today when I'm going to get filmed because I, let's face it, I yeah. love to be behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but I'm really looking forward to the shoot. But then I guess the pressure of today is it's a little bit more casual. So you, you get your, maybe in a way actually, you yeah. have your dream of kind of having your, your visual, but a lot of, or a bit more time than usual. That, that's so yeah. true, that's so true. And, and also we're going to a castle, mm. freaking castle in Cartagena. <laughs> so yeah. It's gonna be out of this know, world. Do you know where you want to shoot at in a castle? I haven't. No, I haven't. I just will. I will always take like a location scouting, maybe five, yeah. ten minutes to walk around the castle and find. Do I do I want like the the harsh sunlight? Do I want shadows? So I will just walk around and find different locations yeah. for us. Hi, girls. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. Are you excited about today? Yes, we yes. are. The wedding day. <laughs> so as we talked about before. We're gonna start with your wedding attire. Mm -hmm. Like we're gonna start with the white, beautiful dress, and you have the trousers, the black, like more edgy style. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And of course, all the curls in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start with that. Like it's all about the love between you, the love. Okay. So I'm just gonna be like a fly on the wall <laughs> most of the time, but I will also post post you. You say you will do like photos like you yeah, used to do, but you are going to do like videos as well? Yes, yeah, small right. clips, yeah. Are you doing? Yeah, so I'm going to do like the slow-mo, small clips. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, good. And then closer, together. When it comes to finding props for my shoot, I like natural material like branches, like palm leaves, and I will just pick it up on the way. I never know how to use them, but I just come up with something and here I have this really old door to add some more texture. But I love, I love these colors. When it comes to wedding photography, it's all about control and you need to be in control. It's really important that you have your gear and know your gear, know how to use it. I always have two bodies, like two cameras on me. But when it comes to how I 
plan my day, it's all about being ready. I mean, it's so easy to film this days yeah. with the new camera. It's just boing. When it comes to the set eight, it gives me everything I ever wanted. I do love my set nine, but let's face it, it's a bit on the heavy side. So when I got the set eight, it was like, this is actually a set nine in a set eight body. It's amazing. Um, because to me, the weight is crucial because I always wear two bodies. Can you imagine going on a plane with the two bodies and you need your lenses and everything? So that's more of a game changer for me. My two go-to lenses is one prime, the 85 millimeter, which I love. And if I only could choose one lens, it would have to be the 2470. I need the people in the landscape. So that's why I need the zoom, because I move a lot, but still I have landscapes photos. So I need a 24, the whole range to a 70. So I was fortunate to have this couple, two women, that they were really bringing it to the to me and it was so natural. I was able to shoot in harsh sunlight but also in the shadows and then I was fortunate to have like almost a whole day like the wedding day so I even got the sunset. I post them the way I see and it comes natural because always in a couple one will take a position because it's normal for the couple. My experience with shooting this couple on this trip was like I had all stars aligned for me. And then look at me, straight forward, good. This is perfect. And then into the camera, like closer together and into the camera. When it comes to photography and what moves me in a photo, it's, it's always the impact. I don't love flawless. I need it to be like imperfect in some way. And then it will speak to me. I don't have any time talking to you. I have to go straight back and upload the photos. It was amazing. Oh yeah? Yeah, the, the weather, the light, everything was just spot on. Oh, Loved I'm so it. Happy for you. Yeah, so yeah, it's really, excited. really good. Yeah. I am excited. So. so I'm excited to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Freud is, is a wedding photographer uh, with a dark side. Not even answering me, then. Freud is just a rock and roller. She's very good. She's very talented. Pure, good hearted person uh, with a lot of energy. Really nice to moon race. <laughs> I never wanted children, but I never saw myself without children. And that, then time passes and I've been so caught up in my work that I forgot that. So when it comes to sacrifices, yeah, that must be like my big sacrifice, I feel. I'm not a regretter. I don't regret anything because I've been everywhere and I've had the most amazing time doing what I love. <laughs> you should totally go and do it and follow your dream because life is just too short to do things you don't love. And if you really, really love it and you're working hard to get it, you will get awarded. So I had this great couple on a castle. I mean, everything was, was perfect for you. Yeah, I really, of course, there was some issues like language barriers with stylists and things like that yeah. but at the end of the day I was super happy. Hugh managed to find people personality and highlight it and you create the scene because these people are not models they don't know how to be in front of a camera but you manage to put them in a situation that shows who they are and I think it's a great present that you do to these people. Thank you so much. To me, the impact of a photo is that you can go back like 10, 15 years after and you can see the photos with your grandparents. The legacy of the photography is important. Ready? 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 Ready. 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 Action.